I'm Heather, and I have always loved to travel. So when I got the idea of driving across Canada by myself, I had to make it happen. I spent a year saving and planning for this trip, and on July 2nd, 2022, I headed out from my hometown of Nwadaford, Nova Scotia, to drive 6,500 kilometers to Horsefly, British Columbia, and back again. It turns out there's more to see in this beautiful country than just the Trans-Canada Highway. And by the time I returned home 42 days later, I had gone 16,000 kilometers in my Jeep Wrangler, hauling a tent trailer. I had seen some amazing things and had the definition of a trip of a lifetime. You want to hear me say that things didn't go exactly as planned, but the truth is there was no plan, only a sense of wonder. People ask me what the best part of the trip was, and truthfully, it was simply taking the trip. Come with me now as I share my adventures from coast to coast in this beautiful country that we call Canada. So I'm in Fundy National Park and I just found a short and easy hiking trail. And this is actually the unmaintained part of the trail, which is interesting. There's a sign that says unmaintained. Uh, it's actually better than the maintained part of the trail. And it says this really cool thing where you're on the road here and then it like loops into the woods and I'm just going into one now. It's a little uh, Lord of the Rings-ish. It's kind of neat. And the weather really cleared up here when I left my campground an hour and a half ago, it was pouring rain. So it just does this little, I don't even know what this is all about. There's a couple of them though where it weaves in and off the trail I can't really see what it's avoiding other than some rocks, I guess, but there's rocks everywhere. But there's the, the trail that comes back there. So weird. And this is where it meets up to the maintained version of the trail. Beautiful day. You can see deer paths everywhere. This is a difficult trail here, but the moderate trail, which I just came off of, was easier than the easy trail. So let's go check out just how difficult it is. So difficulty definitely refers to hilly. And actually I'm thinking this is a recreation area where people rent bikes. And so I'm thinking that on a bike this would be a lot of fun going down. This is all really hilly here. Uh, and then you turn around and you gotta go up. So I'm probably 200 meters in and it just seems to be winding around. So I'm gonna head back up. It's pretty down here, quiet. Really shaded down here. Yeah, and again, the trail is like quite smooth, actually. So the easy trail had big giant boulders that really hurt my feet. 
Uh, but this is nice and soft. It's all pine brush. There's not big giant rocks to avoid. So yeah. Don't believe everything you read. <laughs> Difficulty levels are subjective, I guess. I just tried kayaking for the first time ever. 10 out of 10. That's a great way to spend some time. I said to the guy, the young guy, I've never kayaked before. And he was like, you're in the right place. And the other guy behind him was like, it's really hard. So they said they'd give me my money back if I get out there and was like, I don't like this. <laughs> After an hour, I was beat, but... Uh, I think that's my new favorite activity, for sure. I'm at a place called Tracy Lake in Fundy National Park. And I'm starving. So, I'm going to eat this protein bar. i got about an hour's drive back to my campground, campsite. And then, uh, I think I'm probably just going to fall into bed. <laughs> what a great day. Really fun day. Watch this. We thought the potholes in Nova Scotia were bad. Ready for this? <laughs> Look to your left. <laughs> well, 
will never complain about a pothole again. <laughs> the whole, yeah, the entire side of the road is gone. <laughs> and they just put up some uh, pylons to be like, careful. <laughs> This is a highway to a national park. <laughs> Good job, New Brunswick. frightening. <laughs> this is on the right side this time. Eyes right. Eyes right. 